you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello everyone in the previous videos of latex i have shown you how to write the basic document in latex including basic form of equations tables and figures and i have also shown you how to include references in your latex document in this video, I will explain how to write some basic forms of equations by using LaTeX in TextMaker and MicTeX as compiler. So this is my basic document structure containing document class as article. And remember, you need to use package AMS math in order to write equations in your LaTeX document. And these commands are begin document and end document. And I have used backslash large here, which is the keyword so that uh, I can write in a larger font as compared to the normal font of 12 point. So on the right side of the screen, uh, I have already written some basic forms of equations which are mostly used in technical writing. So one by one, I will be writing all these equations and I will be showing you how to write in LaTeX. So the first equation on the right hand side is y is equal to mx plus c. So remember, whenever you are going to write equations in LaTeX, you have to use either a begin equation and end equation environment or you have to use align environment. For writing single line basic equations, you need to use equation environment. And to do this, we will write begin equation. And automatically it will generate the other command also. Now I will write y is equal to mx plus c. So this will write the equation in the generated PDF. And it will automatically number this equation as equation 1. If you want to use a label for this equation and uh, you want to refer this equation in text, then you need to write label and assign any label to this equation. Let's say I write equation EQ1. Now I can refer this equation, for example, like this. This is my first equation. And here you will use the command backslash ref and write here the identifier which is written in label as equation one and use parenthesis on both sides of it right so now i will run so now i need to save this file before running so i am saving it let's say in on desktop and i am making a folder for this equations and inside this folder let's say i name it as test and save now i will run it and you see here it is y is equal to mx plus c and it is automatically numbered as equation one and you are seeing question mark over here to remove this just rerun the same piece of code and it will automatically place number one because compiler usually takes some time to completely compile the document so you may need to run it two times the second equation will also be written in the same environment. It is y is equal to x square. Now you see x and to write the power, you use this command. And it will write x square plus the next one is square root of x. For this, you have to use backslash sqrt, which is a keyword. And inside this sqrt, you will write the name of the variable that you want to write. For example, here it is x. Now I will run it so this is our equation y is equal to x square plus square root of x now the next equation next equation involves the use of summation operator so it is y is equal to a summation for summation we will use the keyword backslash sum so it is a reserved keyword in latex to write the summation and after backslash sum you put underscore and inside this curly braces you will put the lower limit of the summation which is n is equal to zero and after that you will use this particular operator to write the upper limit which is in our case capital n and after putting a space you will write the next variable which is n square by using the same method used before n square now i will run it and you see this is our equation y is equal to summation n square now the next equation which contains only the lower limit of the summation so again by using the similar command y is equal to backslash sum 
and because here we only need to write the lower summation there is no need to write curly braces because the curly braces is used whenever you need to put more than one variable in the upper or lower limit so here we will only write backslash sum underscore n and after putting a space you will write x now you see here x subscript n and then square so for subscript you always use underscore and for superscript you use this operator and this cap operator and you put two over here so it will generate our desired equation like this now the next equation is using integral so y is equal to now the command for integral is backslash i and t so i and t for integral and because this integral has no upper or lower limits so there is no need to write any limits and directly you will write x dx so it will generate our desired equation in this form now the next equation is again integral but it is using the upper and lower limits of 0 and infinity so we'll, we will use the same procedure y is equal to backslash int and again for lower limit we will write underscore and here 0 because there is only one variable so there is no need to write curly braces and then this cap operator and because the upper limit is not a number it is infinity so for infinity latex offers uh, a built-in command which is backslash infty and space x dx so it will generate our desired equation in this form now if you do not want to write a numbered equation then you simply need to write backslash no number inside this equation environment and it will generate the same equation without number so you see the equation is the same but only the number is omitted from this generated equation now the next equation uh, you are seeing on the right side is called piecewise equation and it is mostly encountered in technical documents so how to write this equation to write this equation we will not need this equation environment rather we will be directly writing this equation inside the square brackets and that method is this one you will write here the right hand side f underscore x and here the bracket and the small x and then the equality sign and now you need to place curly braces on the left hand side so for this you will write backslash left and after writing backslash left you will write the curly brace because curly brace is a reserved keyword so whenever you are using reserved keyword in latex you will write backslash so i will write backslash and this curly braces and you need to write this equation in array environment so here i will start array environment by writing begin array and and in the next curly braces you need to mention how many rows you need to write so here since our equation uses three rows so we will place three times l over here now in the next line you will write zero which is our first entry and after writing zero you have to specify its limits so for this we will use the keyword and and here m box and after i take m box inside curly braces i will write if x is less than a but since x and a these are to be written in math mode so i need to place dollar sign on both sides of this and after writing this we will start new line and new line is started by using double backslash right similarly now for the second line in the second line we have to write a fraction and to write fraction we will use the command backslash frac and we will use we will write a denominator in the first curly brace which is x minus a and denominator in the second set of curly braces which is b minus a and by using the same procedure we will write the limits which are the end operators and backslash m box and inside curly brace we will write if and inside dollar sign we will write a less than or equal to so for less than or equal to we will be using this less than l e q here it is x and then less than b so for less than you can simply write less than and b and start new line <clears throat> and for the third line we will write one and by using the same procedure and over here 
and backslash mbox and inside mbox we will write if and then inside dollar sign we will be writing x greater than or equal to so for greater than or equal to we will be using geq and here it is b so all the three lines are now completed but we need to end the array environment to do this just come in the new line and write end array this will end the array environment and followed by write dot and here you will write backslash square bracket to complete this equation environment now i will run this piece of code and you see this is our desired equation which is now printed in the generated p now there are certain equations which are very long enough so that we need to write them in multiple lines an example of this is shown in equation 7 on the right hand side so how to write these kind of equations the method to write these kind of equations is by using a line environment so in order to write this equation we will start a line environment by writing begin and here a line you can select from here and then inside a line environment we need to write an end sign and then a line environment so it is another environment inside a line and that will be written by aligned and you need to end this and inside this environment now you will write the equation so let's say our equation is y is equal to x underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 plus x underscore 3 and the remaining equation will be written in the next line to do this we will place a new line operator over here and then in the next line we have to specify the alignment operator and here the alignment operator is and so this depends on where we need to align these two lines so if you see on the right hand side both the lines are aligned at this plus sign so we will place an and sign here in the next line we will also place an and sign over here and then write the remaining equation which is x underscore 4 plus x underscore 5 so in this way you will be able to write this equation now we will run it and you see this is the generated result which is in the desired format now there are certain equations in technical documents where we need to write symbols having accents like the equation shown in 8 that there is a hat on y there is a tilde on x and there is a bar on z so how to write these kinds of symbols to do this latex provides built-in keywords so for hat we need to use backslash hat and write the name of the variable inside that keyword so it is backslash hat and we write y here and equal to backslash tilde so for tilde we have the keyword as t-i-l-d-e and inside this we will write x and next we have bar z so we will write bar and you see uh, text maker is automatically suggesting you the right commands and inside it you will write z now i will run this piece of code and you see this is our desired equation and finally there are certain equations where we need to write greek symbols like the equation shown on the right hand, right hand side as equation 9 so how to write these equations again latex offers you some built-in keywords to write these greek words and automatically text maker will uh, suggest you how to write these greek letters so for example if for equation 9 we need to start from gamma so i will write backslash gamma so you see this is the suggestion of gamma and then it is equal to backslash alpha so you see here is alpha plus backslash beta here is beta and plus backslash pi here is pi and plus backslash psi so we have written psi over here now i will run it and you see this is our desired equation containing the greek letters so hopefully you have learned the method how to write equations in latex of different kinds including simple plane equations containing subscripts and superscripts containing summations containing integrals multi-line equations piecewise equations uh, variables containing accents and finally greek letters so thank you for watching and kindly stay tuned to our channel